Myanmar opposition leader Aung San Suu Kyi says her country will face more problems if the constitution is not changed by 2015. Well, she didn't elaborate on what these problems are, but adds that she will continue to push hard for the constitution to be changed. Ms Suu Kyi was speaking at her first news conference here before she leaves Singapore tomorrow. Myanmar's constitution must be changed, a call the lady has made repeatedly. Changing the constitution would, for one, enable her to be eligible for the presidency. Constitutional amendment is not the only change that is necessary in our country. So I think it would be a, a bit premature for me to say now, if the constitution is not changed until 2015, this will happen or that will happen. But I can say, I think with great confidence, that if the constitution is not changed before 2015, there will be more problems than we would have if it were to be changed in time. Well, given the fact that this is Ms. Suu Kyi's first visit to Singapore, she said that Myanmar people have told her about the successes of Singapore in areas such as finance and education. She said that Singapore and Myanmar share many similarities, but there is a key difference, and that is Singapore is a city-state, while Myanmar is a largely agriculture-driven country. In fact, she said that Singapore might just be able to learn a thing or two from Myanmar. We want our country to be different, and we want this difference to add to the, versatile, the, the, the diversity of the world. So I think perhaps Singapore could learn from us a more relaxed way of life, uh, uh, perhaps warmer and, uh, warmer and closer family relationships. I want to learn a lot from the, the standards that Singapore has been able to achieve. But I wonder whether we don't, I don't want something more for our country. And wanting more for Myanmar is exactly what Ms. Suu Kyi believes her party, the National League for Democracy, can offer.